So we're going to start with model basics, and this is uh, one whole. It's a 10 by 10 square with 100 smaller squares. This is a tenth or one tenth of the whole. This is one hundredth, representing one hundredth of the whole. This is a way to represent three tenths or thirty hundredths. And here's another way to represent three tenths or thirty hundredths. You could also do thirty of the small ones. Here's another example of fifty four hundredths. And another way to represent 54 hundredths. Again, you could also use just 54 of the little small ones. We can use these base 10 blocks too to represent multiplication problems. So I'm going to use the multiplication problem of 2 tenths times 8 equals something. So I'm going to use 2 tenths and make 8 groups. So there's Two tenths, there's three groups, four groups, there's five groups, six groups, seven groups, and one more group gives us those eight groups. Okay, so I have eight total groups of tenths. Okay. And so I want to think about how many tenths make one whole, okay? So 10 tenths make one whole. So I'm going to count these out. Two, and I'm going to squeeze them together. Four, six, eight, ten. And I'm going to trade that out for my one whole. And now I have two, four, six tenths left over. So two tenths times eight equals one whole and six tenths left over. We can also use base 10 blocks to multiply um, these numbers, one and four tenths times two and one tenths, like an area model, okay? So kind of like we're splitting it up into a two by two rectangle with one hole and four tenths, and then two holes and one tenth, like that. Okay, but I'm going to use base 10 blocks. So here I'm going to represent this 1 and 4 tenths going this way. And this 2 and 1 tenths going this way. Okay, so just like this and like this. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of this with base 10 blocks. So I'm going to fill in these tenths here like this. And then this one, it goes in here like this. And then right here, I'm going to fill it in with the little guys, the hundredths. So there's one, two, three, four hundredths, okay? And so this is a way to represent this area model, okay, with one hole and four tenths times two holes and one tenth. And we can see that it gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths, one, two, three, four hundredths and two holes. So it equals two holes, nine tenths and four hundredths, or two and ninety-four hundredths. We can also represent um, decimal operations with these hundredth squares by shading in different colors on these hundredth squares. So I could shade in the problem 4 tenths times 3 on my hundredth squares using different colors. So here I'm choosing to use pink and this bluish purple color. And so I want to color in 4 tenths 3 times. So I'm going to use this purple to do 4 tenths and that's one group and then pink is my second group and then purple again as my third group and I did two here but I still need four tenths so I'm doing two more over here so then my four tenths times three 
is going to equal one whole and two tenths left over. Let's do another example. Okay. We're going to do a decimal number, six tenths, times another decimal number, three tenths. Okay. And we're going to use this square right here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to find the area of six tenths and three tenths. So we shade up and down six tenths. And then we're going to go to side to side, three tenths. In our overlapped area here, let me zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. My overlapped area here is that three tenths times six tenths. And we can see that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And these are hundredth squares. So it is 18 hundredths. Okay. Let's do another example. Here I'm going to do a little bit of a bigger number and we're going to use two squares. So I'm going to do one and four tenths times three tenths. Okay. And so we can think about this as one whole and those four tenths left over. And then going side to side with those three tenths, we have to do it all the way across, right? Because our tenths and our tenths are going to overlap. And then our three tenths here, right? One whole times three tenths is just giving us three whole tenths. And then this four tenths times three tenths is giving us 12 hundredths. So one and four tenths times three tenths gives us three tenths plus 12 more hundredths, and we can take 10 of those hundredths and trade it in for a tenth. So it's really 42 hundredths, okay? And we can think about it just like I said, as one whole times three tenths, oops, equaling three tenths, and four tenths times three tenths equaling 12 hundredths. And then we add those two together to get that 42 hundredths. Just like our model shows. This is our three tenths, right? And this one is our 12 hundredths.